Chairman of a 15 the Finance Commission, Nand Kishore, assures of assistance to improve the state's social and financial conditions. State government submits a proposal of 25 projects. Forest officials, a team led by Forest Minister T. H. Shankumar, conducted sport inquiries upon the suspected sites of mysterious predator at the Ningonpong Kitnapano. Mysterious predator continues hunting domesticated livestock in Infal, the valley at the Taubuld and Chingmeirong. Director of Veterinary and Animal Husbandry Department assures of assistance to owners of livestock killed by unidentified predator. And residents urge government to revoke orders on the reserve settlement around Karungpat and Ikopat. Good evening to you all. Welcome to Impact News. You are watching Primetime English News. And I'm Kanal Sambandaram bringing you the top stories and latest news happening in and around at this hour. Let's begin the news with details. A team of 15th Finance Commission led by its chairman Nanda Kishore Singh on its two-day state visit discussed on the various social and financial issues facing the state with stakeholders with an aim to enhance the state's economy. On first day of the visit, the team met with representatives of the political parties of the state and the panchayat members at all secretariat in Babupada yesterday. The team then met with Chief Minister Nongtom Mambirain and his council of ministers, including Chief Secretary, and held a discussion on the various financial problems facing the state today. Briefing media after the meeting today, Chairman of, of the Commission, Nand Kishore, stated that the Commission was apprised on the various inconven inconveniences facing the state. Nand Kishore assured that the Commission will give top priority on improving the critical financial situation of the state, improving human resources and to promote ECIS policy. The priority focus there needs to appears to be on improving infrastructure, social infrastructure, particularly education and in the sector of energy. The Finance Commission has assured the government of Manipur that looking at the critical importance of Manipur's economy for the promoting the Act East policy, for the, its critical location, for enabling job opportunities to be created, we will do uh, it will be the endeavor of this commission to supplement and to buttress the efforts of the state government. Speaking to media after the meeting, Chief Minister N. Birain intimated that the state government has submitted a memorandum on the various issues containing proposals for 25 different projects. Birain asserted that once the proposals are put into action, the state will witness massive development. I think it's the government that has many problems. Maru in a forest area covered to rum the way I'm not going to only 2.5 kata 90 percent. We're going to go to the forest area. Do sound to go to the center of the pang of a pisa. Maduki port of a forest area. The actual forest area is covered to run about the Maduki a price to we. A quick 8449 the pisa thumbs in basin. A quick the lady with double penalty interest. My am to get our problem with my am to go to the interact or a do I know can bother my. Um, details Fajanatai, some positive come out. Yes, 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 yes I definitely. Upon getting tip off that some unidentified animals suspected to the mysterious predator responsible for killing domesticated livestock over the past few weeks across the state were spotted along Infal Riverbank in the Ningomthong Kitna Panung. The Forest and Environment Minister along with top officials of the Forest Department have rushed at the spot to inspect the situation. Forest Minister Thalnaujim Shyam Kumar has appealed not to spread any misleading information, creating fear, psychosis over social media regarding the mysterious creature. Meanwhile, 11 thugs raided by one run 
Rajind Maite in the Tankul Avenue of Infald West were found dead in a mysterious circumstances yet again. Five towed tracks were also sighted at the site. The team led by the forest minister inspected bushy areas along the riverbank at Basikong Kitna Panung and interact with the locals, including an eyewitness of the predator Mutum Inakunbi today. Minister Shyam Kumar reassured that the relevant departments are taking necessary measures, including deployment of special task forces at various places to identify and capture the mysterious predator. He also intimated that a forensic expert team of the Wildlife Institute of India will arrive in fall tomorrow and assured that the unknown creature will be identified without further delay. Urging the public not to kill any wild animals upon mere suspicion, Minister Taunaujim Shyam Kumar also warned of legal actions against those found killing wild animals. <laughs> ไม่ว่าจะข้างกันกันมาคันกี้ซานเนาะเด็กตัวเรื่องมีอะไรสิข้างกันกันนะคุยมายามปุ่นนักก็ไปดีพาร์เมนต์อีเรดี้ตูเ
pulap na ngano try palay bisa ngano try thoy siram may aduga ngano mari mana hingaw ra aduga ani mana chiela sa kan mari hing bisa ngano amadi ako yung matapak ta chiela aduga jaga amada thadaram may ngano amana sa sa do na kongun jie ako yung kongun amat tang na tita ay jie asa wujud ay masal ta ay aduga ako masi group ay na lapo malay sa jing jie aduga nakan gi thangari pa kongun ay jo pung baro makai sa ida thok malay ay ba ay ba pausum ta ay may thal laga di sa jie sang di ay ba ay nangarang may jie Bab saya fit tau raga tanjaran mana yang orang jadi tu ka thok ibu thok tu orang orang ahing tu thok thok pun thok tu. Aku ye forest ki kanggula ame amoi na hyper hyper tu moju Kolkata tu ki moju expanding ngasih orang kani na tu moju na hyper sorok moju hyper. Meanwhile, four ducks read by Wan the Tokchom Sarad from the Taubulk Awang Bamang Lekai, Ward number no. 2 of Vishnupur district, died in mysterious circumstances this morning. Upon getting the information, the team led by Deputy Range Officer Vishnupur Forest Division and the Viraj Russ at the sport and inspected the situation. The FO and the Viraj also appealed not to kill the wild animals upon mere suspicion. Meanwhile, Director of the Veterinary and Animal Husbandry Department, Dr. Hobijam Achoba, has reassured people of the state that the department is fully alert in the wake of the mysterious predator killing domesticated livestock in various parts of the state. In an exclusive meeting with media, the director intimated that the Post-mortem report of the dead animals showed a razor sharp teeth mark in their heart and kidneys. He assured of assistance under the Ministry of Veterinary and Animal Husbandry to those livestock farmers who have suffered loss and further urged them to visit the nearest district veterinary office to treat their injured animals or to report the directorate office. Dr. Haubija Machoba also intimated that department officials under special instructions of the ministry are continuing sport inquiry and post-mortem. However, the creature is yet to be identified. He urged all livestock owners to put up bright lights around animal shelters to word of the predator. The director also mentioned that the predators possibly traveled in groups and have high uh, and have Highest sense of smell. Dikcam gigi oke ni halam entau tu poraga dengan kue postmortem itu tahu. Macam yang atau ba ya kun maya mama itu lay manung dah. Mungkin siklak pasi dah manung dah pausil laga heart kidney daya uraga maya tu gigi ya kun gak itu tahu. Itu tiada. Masa matik tu su ya kun maya mama yang lu lu na itu tahu lay. Saya ni sedih sengah. Ya ribu makai lomih sini nausing. Kita cek sini. Tambiro, so apa leh hawa kalau hawa, kau ider kar leh hawa, leh rasa kau ider dom, bah betina rigi institusi kau office sama dapat pawai dom pibiro, aku ider dom rasa dom tau jaga. Relief ki di pamingi site ki kau ini pizza bi apa, tau bi apa mati yang besok kau ider dom tau jaga. Betina rigi direktorat tak, natraga aku ini district district ki join director ki office ing dasu, madu ki report, mangi bagi kau ki bi, aku ini tu collect tau jaga. Person masana su report tau dom pibiro ga, aku ini collect tau jadi si matak tak aku ini kari. Pangza bi apa di pamingi, anggam berdua kau ider dom pangza ga. Three non-locals engaged in the National Highway No. 2 in Fal Dimapur Road maintenance work were kidnapped by unidentified miscreants yesterday. The kidnapping reportedly occurred at the Kwairakpam Kubong along Sekmai Riverbank under Sekmai Police Station last night at 11. The kidnapped workers of a Sivalaya Construction Company Private Limited are identified as company in charge Beer Singh, 40 years from Haryana, plant operator Ramji, 25 years, and miling machined operator Dinesh Kumar Yadav, 30 years, aboard from UP. Impact News sources said they were captured from their work shelters located along Sigmai Riverbank by six armed individuals. A case was registered at Sigmai Police and the rescue operations are underway. Altogether, 75 employees are engaged at the maintenance site since the last around six months under project manager Satendra Kumar Singh. The public club the Kurai Top Kong Nang Kong in a press release appreciated MLA Kurai Eld Susindro and MLA Ketrigao and Indrajit for repairing Porompath DC Road in Fald East within a short span of time. 
एम एल ए नौरिया पाखंग लाप कॉन्स्टिट्युएंसी सोयबम सुभाष चंद्र हेज लेट दि फाउंडेशन स्टोन फॉर दि कंस्ट्रक्स ऑफ मालोम हवाई रो मेरा खोंग ब्रिज कनेक्टिंग मालोम ऑफ नौरिया पाखंग लाप कॉन्स्टिट्युएंसी एंड कौथौजम कॉन्स्टिट्युएंसी टूडे Speaking on the occasion, MLA Soibam Subhash Chandra stated that the long neglected bridge will be reconstructed into an RCC bridge by the Public Works Department at the project estimated of 1 crore 19 lakh and 90,000 rupees. He assured that the bridge will be completed within 6 Months. Many people in the area, including Pradhan of Malom Gram Panchayat, Laishram the Ingocha, were present in the event. I go to Sarkar Sina, Kudulu in Nugu, Kudulu in Pijaba, she told me she's an Aganda, Sabalu and Ganda, Amukahena, Kondunki and Ramadi Nauriaki and the Anigi, Chesson of Maritusu, Hena Pagalapa, Kian Kulanisiki Tainaba, Lu Singubagi, Karabagi, Karigi Punamukta, Maduki Kudung Sabadu. Old Manipur DPC completed candidates mailed civil 2013 batch has urged the government to declare recruitment result of the batch within December 3 speaking to media at Manipur press club today president of the batch Laimayum Navakishwar expressed disappointment that delay in result declarations for over 6 years has demoralized the candidate He mentioned that despite an order by a single bench of the High Court of Manipur to declare the result within November 3, the relevant authorities failed to do so and instead the case was referred to a double bench of the High Court which again ordered to declare the result within November 23. Lady Bang Dik Division Bench na rai tare adubu केस केस हैगन नशा सिंह अवाब जिंगी हाइदीग्रो है कैंडिडेटी मूद निजेरी लाख तंग अहम फाउबगी थबसे हाइदू नतब तारगे अखोल मख क्या खुजें क्या चंजल असें चुम फिल्टर राइज तौर मनपुर इन हाँ सेंजा थुमजा यादना मनपुर असें पाबुनगन लोसन भी At a time when the state government has emphasized on saving wetlands, lack of proper policy is slowly killing Kadung Pat, one of the most important wetlands of Manipur. Kadung Pat is a traditional fish producing lack under the Fishery Department, Government of Manipur. But due to lack of a policy, the lack is at the threat upon being gradually encroached. speaking exclusively to impact news president of the citizens association for rural development card tamfajau urged the government to revoke its order which the reserve 200 hectares of kharung pad and 100 hectares of eco pad and allotted the same to several non residents not qualified of the allotment ขรุงปาตาฮุจิตาสะไลบตุเรียนจีเอ็นทาตุเรียนตินทาตุเรียนจีอะคุยกิยามซาวนะปางนะตรกันดาอะคุยกิขรุงปาตาไหงโหยไ
Shem Nova Hydona Rebinu di Pamena, Aduga, Aquay, nineteen ninety five Tokina Hujibogda, Aquay, Chef Pataji, Cocktailaga, Aquay, the Camp Takana, Hundana, Sisinavaya, the Gomen, the record. Mangale, Masigi Matanga, Aquay Uzuzi, Rebinu Minister, Uba, Aquay Onareban, Aquay Karam Samda, Quena Dragaska, Pizeracanda, Aquay Sum Topina, Vana, Quena Yankana, Honabidana, Minister Shamna di Aquay, Tubotam the Hankala Lagani, Adubu, Hyde Poshi, Sim Minister, the knowledge of the Tambiro, Aduga, Hyde Poshing. Uncut by Yanabo Honor, she had no Hosipudis all over Mating, Pibi Ray Masikisagi Pataja, Hosikamta, Equi Lolo Viade, Duga Quigi, Nesren Calamitan at Umotam the Gomenda, Quigi, Patanum the Tagatana, Quigi Marie Nova, Documenting Jay Quatagan and Abogi Pangal Jay Quilate, Adua Quid Gasana Tibuzi Andre, Aduga Sis Poching Jay, Matam Shang Lerposina, Madam Murakanda, Equida, Lomishing the Yamna, Awaba, Ama, my owner. Now it's time for a small commercial break. After the break, we bring you news on the protests against Citizenship Amendment Bill 2016, staged by AMSU and NESO. We will be back with the details after the break. Until then, keep watching Impact News. Welcome back after the break. You are watching Primetime News. AMSU extended solidarity to other Northeast states in protesting against Citizenship Amendment Bill 2016 under Apex Body. Northeast Students Organization, NESO, by staging a protest meet at AMSU office on the DM College campus today. Taking part in the protest, AMSU President Manjit Sarangthem condemned the Citizenship Amendment Bill 2016, which amends the Citizenship Act of 1955 to grant citizenship to Hindus, Sikh, Buddhist, Jain, Persist, and Christian migrants from Afghanistan, Bangladesh, and Pakistan. He criticized the bill as a paving ways for illegal migrants in the northeast states, including Manipur, and the warns of intense agitations against implementation of the bill. He also announced that AMSU will extend the solidarity to the upcoming protests of NESO against the bill at Delhi in the second week of December this year. We all know Poklam Dung Pumba the Puna in the government of citizens of nineteen fifty five key Matungina, Kugi Hindu sing, Christian sing, Parsi sing, Buddhist sing, Jain sing, a single number, music sect, and consistent oina, religion the best or Kanda, citizens of Pig and Harapose, Masi Manpu, Miam, Muruna, Ong, Pok Miam, the Pentro Gombena, Lang Takanda, Kugi, Ong, Nong Poki Lam, the Masakugi, foreigners singi, illegal immigrants singi, dumping site among the Patali Tatamam, the Tamnava Dumba. Sin but Horam can hand am soon a low in the Gomena, Hyderba, the citizen member will be sending Tungi, Mifom the Chada and give a target, Equi Tungi Livagase, Nordiski, Miam, Livagase, Kalai, the Legion of Chachoba, Wanga Makin Romana, Equi Tungi Livag, Isana, Lepchen, Abidam Taikoi, upon the Kolamaka, the citizen member will give him see, I'm sooner Nordis Pumu the Satariba, Kalau Serum. People of Kaisam Tong, Moirang Ningto, and the Laishom Laikai states a sit in against the re arrest of a journalist, Wang Kim Cha, Kesor Chand, under. National Security Act. The protests meet under the banner detention of Kesor Chand Wang Kim Chao Wang Toy and the views of basic human civil rights NSA to a common citizen treat like a terrorist was staged at the Kesam Tong Moyang Ning Tho Lake Moyang Ning Tho Ladakh this afternoon. It may be mentioned that Kesor Chand was re-arrested with 24 hours of granting him bail by Infal West Chief Judicial Magistrate after his arrest for uploading a post on social media, Facebook, against the government related to birth anniversary celebration of Rani of Jansi in the state. Taking part in the protest, Wang Kim Ranjita, wife of Kesor Chand, condemned Kesor Chand's re-arrest and unconditional and warns of intense agitation if her husband is not released at the earliest. Ranjita appealed for cooperation from civil society organizations and the people of the state. Kesor Chan's one-year-old daughter also took part in the seat in holding a place card that read, Where is my father? A quiggy focus the Doriga area, Quiggy Naksai Rani Jan Sise, Kayam Impek Lairage, Kayam Manipur, the Magi Impeks, Karino Hyperdugi, Mananga Ibapo to the focus the Udre, Mayam the Tayan and Nanasagi, 
abusive language nga ang machin thi de machin thi de hai bagi ona tai na ba lambi ama da puthok re masi masi mazu ai praza mi am da kitang khangan ning e masi gi jansi gi rani ji gi sima tang da kari akoi manipur da ma gi impact se kari na kari context no samna ha da akoi bu nga wa nga nga nu opinion am ta pi ra nu da akoi le bang se democracy oi ra ju democracy gi chatna han da bi wa nga la pami bu menjan ba phajan ba taubagi phibam ama man se lagbe aina mai am da ju appeal taw ni akoi bu mateng pang bi organization pumna magna chin thi ba rom da chatpi gum se achum ba mai kai focus taw dorga po da focus taw raga koi punna mateng pang mina se na haijan on the other hand the spokesperson of bjp manipur pradesh cs bijoy has condemned mla thangmai band ks joy kishan for trying to take political mileage out of kesor chand wangkhem chas case He opined that the Congress MLA should perform his role as an opposition MLA instead of a building of issues. The spokesperson mentioned that MLA Joy Kishan does not have the authority to decide whether arrest of Kesor Chand is justifiable or not. Briefing media at BJP Manipur Pradesh temporary office in the Kanchipur today, CS Vijay alleged Kesor Chand of spreading anti-national and communal posts on social media. He reminded that Kesor Chand was earlier booked for spreading offensive comments, which has potential for disrupting social harmony. He said his repeated anti-social behaviors led to his rearrest under NSA. The spokesperson terms it unfortunate that the Congress MLAs tried to uphold a morally questionable person. He opined, "Freedom of expression does not mean one can speak whatever comes to mind." 2017, the day how we were recording the data. इफा वेस्ट खक्त नेशनल सिक्यूरी एक्ट से श्री किशोरचन वामखेमना एन एस मखा फाज मा तर सूबने मांग फाब मापन से मैं हार्ट कोर एक्सट्रीमिस इंसरजें ग्रुप की मेबर गाते मान हंध फाब से मांग ओफेंस हंधु सिमिल ओफेंस कमी तौर अदक्त मांग फेसबुक पोस्ट भी अखोगी कमूनल एंटी नेशनल रेसिस पोस्मा लेप्तन सब थकल नाइंटी पर्सेंट एन एस ए पालम की नईन कंसर्न अथोरीटी कैदू सिंगल ओफेंस हेद पाब न The 32nd Manipur University Inter College Youth Festival concluded today. PG classes Manipur University back the overall team championship and Don Bosco College Maram yet again back the best disciplined team. 23 colleges participated in the 3 day festival organized by Manipur University Cultural Committee. Speaking in the concluding event held at Manipur University's Centenary Hall, Administrator of Manipur University, Journal Singh said hard work and perseverance during students life will lead to success in future. He suggested to take feedbacks from this year's festival participants for making the festivals grander next year. In the student life, each student has got a sort of ideas come to his mind that I want to become that, I want to become that. Whatever your aspirations are there, your thoughts are there, what you want to be. what heart all those who have aim who have a ambition if they work hard they can achieve it and if you work hard definitely you will be successful nobody can come in the way and stop you CPI Manipur State Council observed the 72nd Ching Tam Apun Bami Pham Ning Singh Mifam at Manipur Press Club today On this day in the history representative of both the hills and the valley come together for safeguarding the integrity of Manipur and the forms united front under the leadership of Jananeta Hizam Irawat in 1947 Social scientist Dr. Danabir Lishrand, cultural activist Ningtauja Lancha, CPI Manipur State Secretary L. Sotan Kumar, and many people attended the event. Speaking speakers in the event advocated greater autonomy for the state to bring unity and equal development of hills and valley, and for a peaceful coexistence.
Calf and PD Minister Karam Shyam has presented food items as per as a pre-Christmas gift to the people of Gangkui Kunal village of Ukrul district. A team led by advisor of the minister M. Manohar and the PRO A. Baneshwar handed over the items during an event held at Gangkui village yesterday. Advisor Manohar also inaugurated a public toilet constructed under the sponsorship of Minister Karam Shyam on the occasion. National Program for Prevention and Control of Cancer, Diabetes, Cardiovascular Diseases and Stroke NCD and District Health Society Vishnupur jointly organized a public rally in connection with World Diabetes Day in the Vishnupur District today. District Chief Medical Officer T. Man Manihar flagged off the rally on the theme The Family and Diabetes from the Vishnupur Market. A public meeting was also convened at many train training halls of National Health Mission after the rally. Speaking to media, Chief Medical Officer T. Manihar urged everyone to get a timely sugar test and precautionary measure against diabetes. A voluntary blood donation awareness came to come donation camp 2018 was organized under the themed Give Blood to Our Sangai, Save Sangai or Pride of Manipur at Iboyaima Sumalila Sanglit today. Association of Voluntary Blood Donors Manipur, Thaubald District Branch, Manipur State Sumanglila Council, Helping Hand for Peoples Manipur, the third NSS Unit 1 and 2 GP Women's College. The Kasoit United Development Association, the Kangabok, Lion Club, Club of Thaubald, Greater Centurion and Blood Bank and Transfusant Unit Thaubald District Hospitals, Kangabok, jointly organized the camp. Many volunteers donated blood in the camp. Lining Tau Sanamahi Temple Board also organized a grand reception for Myanmarish and Bangladeshi Maites attending the Sangai Festival at Lining Tau Sanamahi Sangland at Haying Kongwan near 1st MR compound today. Speaking on the occasion, the Vice President of the Board, Wakal Lamjingba, appreciated the Manipuri diasporas for visiting the land of their forefathers. He also expressed a desire for the government to renovate historical sacred sites of the state. Myanmarish Maites attending the Sangai festival were accorded a warm reception in the Kurai Sajor Lakai today. One Takelam Takel Mayum Tomba of Kurai Sajor Lakai held a grand feast for the tourists and also presented gift to them. Speaking to media, Tomba said the reception program was organized to re renew and strengthen ancestral relations with the Myanmarish Maites. North East India Development Party NEIDP Manipur State in a press release demanded unconditional release of the eight trekkers of Manipur Mountaineering and Trekking Association MMTA detained by Nagaland police. Well, that's all we have in this bulletin. But before we end, let's look at the headlines once again. Chairman of a 15 the Finance Commission, Nanda Kishore's assures of assistance to improve state social and financial conditions. State government submits a proposal of 25 projects. Forest officials, a team led by forest ministers T.H. Shankumar, conducted spoke inquiries upon the suspected sites of mysterious predator at Ningomthong Kitnapano. Mysterious predator continues hunting domesticated livestock in Infal, the valley at Taubuld and Chingmeirong. Director of Veterinary and Animal Husbandry Department assures of assistance to owners of livestock killed by unidentified predator.
And residents urge government to revoke orders on the reserve settlement around Karungpat and Ikopat.